Okay, Keith Myers here, and this is going to be Peekaboo Stick Boxing Lesson 3. And we're going to talk about some, some footwork patterns that are for power development. Okay, When you're using a bigger stick, more of a long range, and you're lose, using big stroking motions, it's easy to see how power is behind those strikes. But since this, this fanning strike, this abanico, these fast reverses, are our main striking in the peekaboo stick boxing, then we need to be able to generate power. So we've got to be moving our body and torquing, stepping. We never just stand flat foot and hit, right? There's always some movement involved, okay? We've already talked about using this, the pivot like this, which is very important. I mean, like I've said in the past, this is the core of what we're doing. So we practice this a lot. These all these various angles, bam. Bam, like we've talked about in previous lessons. But now we can take this pivot and walk with it. We can make a pivot step in order to generate power. So the way this works is I'm gonna pivot just like before, but where when I was I'm pivoting stationary, I'm keeping my weight centered right there. So I've got good balance, right? Centered. When I wanna walk with it, I'm gonna lean slightly forward so it's like I'm about to fall. So as I'm leaning, as I pivot, and as I pivot, I just that foot will just naturally shoot out and catch me. See how that works? I'm pivoting just like before, but as I start my pivot, I'm leaning that way. So this foot, as I put my heel down, I just lift my foot a little bit, and my heel lands out here. Right? So now as I pivot, if I start my pivot like this, as I start to pivot back, this foot shoots, shoots forward. So I'm going to pivot back that way. This foot will shoot forward. And see how I'm, I'm leaning? That's what does it. So I'm not thinking about stepping. I'm just thinking about pivoting and just moving forward as I pivot. Okay, so with the stick to generate power, I'd be I'd be hit, 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 hit. So see how I'm turning, I'm torquing. Boom, I'm generating power, but I'm moving forward when I do it. So pivot, 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 and then pivot step. Pivot step, 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 step. I'm going forward, but look how much turn and torque I get as I'm coming forward. Boom. Okay? So again, it's like I'm out here. I'm not just gonna stand in one place and hit Bob. Maybe Bob is retreating. So I'm going after him, right? Bam, bam, bam. Right? I'm going forward with the pivot. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so that's that's an important step. Step forward. Now I'll exaggerate. I'll actually pick this foot up. Pivot. 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 But really, again, don't even think about stepping. Just think about pivoting as you're leaning forward and that foot just shoots out to catch you. Right? It's just going to shoot forward. It's going to shoot forward and catch me. So, then how much I put my weight forward kind of determines how far I step. If I just do it a little bit, I can just pretty much stay pretty, pretty tight, right? Pretty tight. But if I really lean out, I can cover a lot more distance, right? And see how I'm already leaning forward? If I show it from the side, pivot, pivot, pivot. Now I lean my weight out a little bit just so that shoot, foot shoots out. Pop, 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 pop. I, I put my weight even further forward to make it a bigger step by pivoting. And now it's bam, bam, bam. See how I'm still twisted? It's just pivoting and allow that pivot to turn into a step. It's an important way to generate power going after the guy. Okay, method two. We talked about the narrow pivot, right? Where I've pivoted this way, this way, this way. That's important to work on. One of the most common ways we're gonna use it though is like this, where only one foot is doing the work, right? It's like I've done my normal pivot, and then the narrow pivot, but my foot is still wide, see? I'm that way back here. So I'm in my normal pivot, but instead of pivoting across with this leg and shifting my body, I'm here, my body weight stays here, and I just turn this hip like the narrow pivot. So it's bang, bang. It's a fast shift with power, shift with power, bam. Bam, bam. 
Bam, so this is a very important one to practice too. Outward, inward. And the best way to think of these kind of strikes with the abanico fanning strikes, an outward strike goes outward away from my center line, my own center line. Inward strike is coming in towards my center line. Boom, boom. If you're directly across, boom, 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 boom. Or up and down, up and down, up and down. Pop, 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 pop. And then from the side, pivoting this way, pivoting back. Pivoting, 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 pivoting. Bam, 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 bam. Let's see how much hip turning I get. How far my hips are moving. Okay. Now, this kind of pivot can be done with a step. Okay. So I could have done something, right? Or I'm, I'm blocked. I did something. And I'm stepping out to the outside. And as I step, I do that pivot. So see how I've I've gone forward, the pivot, and then I'm here. So I block something. I'm stepping out with this pivot. See, all I did was I stepped forward, but my hip turned this way, and it came back. Right? So again, block, step with this pivot, pivot again. I step and pivot, pivot again. A step and pivot, pivot again. All right? So here, a stepping pivot, pivot again. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. So I've done something, I'm moving around. I step out, and I want to hit the guy as I'm going that way. So there's my pivot. I'm stepping that way, pivoting back towards him. I'm covering ground at an angle, still pivoting towards him. Into this one. And that leaves a third way to generate power, specifically for this tri strike, is that drop. So obviously when I do this, I kind of have to kind of raise up. Then when I pivot back, I can drop. It's that dropping motion. I could have started on the high line, right? Let's say I've, I've, I've struck up here, and then there's something down here I want to strike, I can still drop. Even though I didn't pivot my body, that sudden drop is still going to add a lot of power to that strike. Imagine if something's coming at me, I've stepped off at an angle, and I've blocked. I've, I've technically already pivoted that direction, right? But my stick to his hand may only be a foot away. So I don't want to draw my foot, my weapon back, or make another big motion when all I have to do from here is drop. Right? So I could have stepped out, drop. I've already been in a position like this and drop and see that still is a hip turn i'm up as i drop my weight my hip is still turning it's like i pivoted now i'm going to pivot any, even further because i'm dropping my weight so hopefully you can see that and that makes sense that drop itself is just taking the pivot a little further i'm in a pivoted position already i drop my weight boom it just takes it further and bam adds adds power okay so work on those things. This is a oh, one more important footwork. This is a little more complicated. It's going to be related to the lateral movement we did earlier, and it's going to be related to the shift that we, we're going to cover in the empty hand boxing portion, okay? But this is another very important way to generate power. I'm going to take this pivot, right, and we walked forward with the pivot. And now I'm going to take the pivot and walk sideways with the pivot, okay? Which is very important. Walking forward with the pivot would be, like I said, if I'm out here, if I've hit the guy, he's faded away from me, so I'm going after him. Boom. I'm closing in. Well, the lateral pivot, pivot, lateral pivoting step allows me to have blocked something and to keep going alongside of him while still facing that way. So, in the pivoting step going forward, I'm walking in the same direction I'm facing. The pivoting step going laterally, I'm facing that way and walking that way. I'm flanking the opponent. So it's very important to get down. Like I said, it's going to be related to the shift. But anyway, here's how it works. I pivoted. I want to keep going that way. 
if I pivot back, I'm headed that direction, right? So how if I'm pivoted here, do I keep going that way? I have to throw my hips and do the pivot again, right? So I'm leaning, I've got this weight, this leg loaded, so now I'm gonna throw my hips that way and pivot. So I pivot, I throw my hips that way, pivot. Pivot, pivot, okay? Again, it's easy to get out of the camera range. If I pivoted this way, then I just pop. Pop. Boom, pop. Boom, pop. So, pivot it this way. I'm going to walk that way. Or, no, sorry. Pivot it this way. I'm going to walk that way. Boom. Pivot. Boom. Pivot. Boom. Pivot. Boom. Pivot, boom, pivot, boom. Okay, now obviously I can reverse that. Instead of pivoting in place with, with the outward fan, doing a little hop with the inward fan, I can pivot in place with the inward fan and do the little hop that direction with the outward fan. So I start from here to here. Pivot in place. Hop and pivot. Boom, 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 boom. Again. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. Just started this in. Bam. Pop. So work on that, go in both directions. So here, and I can do it this way. There's not a lot of utility for doing it this way other than develop the coordination and the body control. But I can do bam, 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 bam. See, I'm moving laterally and I'm pivoting at the same time. Boom, 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 boom. Again, that's just more for coordination. The way you use this, let's say I've done a block. Boom. I've shifted this way. I still want to travel in that direction. I could stay where I'm at and just pivot in front of the guy, but I'm in front of him. And one of the things we're trying to do is flank the opponent. So if I've done a block, I've done something, and I find myself having swept this direction, I loaded this leg, well, then all I got to do is that little hop and pivot. Boom, hit his arm again, and then I got him, right? I'm here. Boom, bam. I blocked something. I blocked his blow. I hit his elbow. I hit him in the head. And see, I'm beside him and not in front of him. That's where that's going to come in. Very important. So work on those ways, that footwork. And as we do future lessons, you're going to see that showing up and blending in in any number of places. So those are very important.